my name is Dwight Trout, and I'm sure we're all aware of the so-called global warming crisis. But today, I'd like to bring to your attention the real problems. I wish to tell you that Al Gore, the so-called proprietor of what leading scientists are calling the biggest hoax in the world, is actually hurting the cause for environmental protection for his own gain. As we look across the globe, we see the beauty that we have been blessed with. People everywhere love their earth, but it is off of this love that greedy politicians feed. Liberals worldwide wish to use this faulty moral argument as an excuse to exercise more influence in the lives of private citizens and to tax big business into oblivion. According to Fox's Sean Hannity, Al Gore has been known to fly on personal jets that output more carbon emissions per person than most commercial airlines. 373 pounds more carbon dioxide per passenger per hour according to Terrapass. This means that flying privately, as Gore and many of his followers do, emits four times as much carbon dioxide as flying commercially. Perhaps instead of pushing the radical, often unaccepted views of anthropic climate change, we should become involved with something everyone can support, cleaning up local rivers, streams, and green spaces. People and animals worldwide deserve to have a healthy environment to live in. It is our duty to all those who inhabit the Earth to keep it clean for generations to come. According to the VLAA, 4.7 trillion cigarette butts are littered in the world yearly. They can take up to 15 years to biodegrade. The simple act of not littering can help clean up roadways and cities. We need to concentrate on protecting our environment and health now in a visible and clear method. Doing so will allow us to see the change at this very moment, encouraging us and those around us to do more to protect the environment from its real greatest enemy, direct and visible pollution. We all know what we need to do, and we do not require the government elite to tell us. Al Gore is too busy with telling us how to live our lives when he's ignoring the root of the real issue, which is pollution on a massive scale.